All right, time to do the end of the year roundup for MMA. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a shorter video just because uh, I'm making a video response to Chase and he more or less covered a lot of the um, a lot of the candidates, I suppose. So there's not a lot of not a lot of explanation. Um, we'll start a KO of the uh, year. I gave it to Rob Emerson, even though I don't like Rob Emerson and his uh, victory over Vanny Gambirian. Um, that was just uh, plainly impressive that he generated such power from what it was more or less a, a somewhat of a sitting position. Uh, that was that was pretty impressive. Um, additionally, I mean, you, uh, another KO I was really thinking about giving it to was uh, Anthony Rumpel Johnson, and no, that was, that was about it. I think those were really the the two real candidates, um, in my opinion. The submission of the month, easy, or of the year, easy Shinya Aoki with the mounted Gogo Plata over Nagata, I can't say his first name, I'm sorry, um, but you just, you haven't seen that before, I mean, that in itself, I think, made it the, uh, the submission of the month, although I was uh, somewhat pondering Dustin Hazlitt's uh, uh, submission over Josh Berkman as a possible uh, yearly submission award winner, but... Uh, uh, definitely got to go with uh, the topside go-go. Uh, fight of the month, or fight of the year. I'm going to say month a lot. That's my prediction in this video. Uh, but hopefully I'll, I'll try not to. Um, you have, of course, uh, Hellboy Hansen versus Eddie Alvarez. I agree with that fight. I am a Hellboy Hansen uh, nut hugger, but that, that fight was great. That was... That was a fight that I honestly think could have been Dreams' version of Forrest Griffin versus um, versus, uh, of course, um, Stephen Bonner. My God, I can't believe I took that long to think of that. Um, but anyways, it was it was an amazing fight. I would love to see a rematch that Hanson has the belt, although somewhat uh, not going to happen probably because Aoki just tapped out Alvarez. So I guess Jay Z. Uh, is probably, I think, still the guy in line, and then probably Aoki. Um, with Alvarez maybe being the fourth guy in line. Um, or or Kale, you know. Uh, but the, yeah, there you go. Uh, bad call of the year. Uh, if anyone doesn't pick the Kevin Burns, Anthony Johnson first fight, I he, he got a question on that one because that was that was dirty. That's a bad call on so many levels. Steve Mazzagatti's bad call for calling it a TKO for Burns instead of disqualifying him. Uh, it's a bad call by Burns for fighting in the manner that he fought and not dropping out of the fight. It's a bad call for the UFC for not paying for Burns' medical bills so he get his hand fixed up and they didn't have this fight because he told the UFC about it. And just basically there you go. I mean, that that's everyone involved with that fight except for I suppose Anthony Johnson bad call um, next up we have uh, the two that Chase added the beatdown of the year I'm going to give that to John Fitch uh, GSP just because I don't think the Brock Lesnar Herring fight was a beatdown to the same degree because realistically if Lesnar had BJJ he would have ended that fight in the first round when Herring gave him his back um so, in, in my opinion, due to the fact that there was a lot of chances to end the fight, I don't think it's quite the same beatdown as just John Fitch being an incredible warrior in that fight. It, it was it was amazing. It, he earned me as a huge fan that night. Um, oh, if, as far as the back call goes, off there were two really good candidates that I think really deserve to be mentioned. The cutting of Fabricio Verdum after he got knocked out by Junior Dos Santos. Um, was relatively uh, entirely uncalled for, um, and that's all there is to it. Um, and then there's also the John Fitch uh, contract thing, where th with the likeness and the UFC fighters getting, uh, at least for the time being, fired. Although apparently all of them are back, um, but still, it, it, it was dirty. It was a hugely bad call by the UFC, and. It just kind of shows the continual lack of best interest for the fighters that exist in the sport. Finally, we have the Warrior of the Year. Uh, John Fitch's performance against GSP is a definitive uh, candidate. Um, I'm just trying to... I kind of hadn't thought about this one as much as the other ones, unfortunately. Um, 
I can't overly think of another candidate to put up for this. So yes, I'm going to give it to John Fitch because I mean the the only other guy maybe is Chris Lytle in this fight with Koscheck. Um but yeah, John Fitch just being uh being a tough, tough, tough bastard. That's that's all there is to it. Um anyways, I will see you next time I do a video, which may be soon. Uh may not, I don't know. Work is has got a new job at uh Western Inventory Services, so I may be a lot more busy than I was before, um, and I don't know how that'll affect my videos, but anyways.